beautiful custard Portuguese tarts, finished off with a little bit of caramel. So I've bought some all butter puff pastry. Now I need some cinnamon. Sprinkle that on the pastry like that and just rub it in, okay? And then I want to roll it up. So we've got a nice little roll. Cut it in half, then cut each half in three. There you go, we've got six, so we've got six lumps there like that. Get yourself a regular kind of uh, Yorkshire pudding mould or muffin mould. And what I want to do, put it facing down like that and squeeze it like that. Put it into the bottom of these moulds. Just use your finger and then pull it up the sides. So that goes straight in an oven. OK, simplest little custard pudding recipe. I've got um, a little bowl, one lovely large free-range egg goes in. I've got a tablespoon of sugar going in. I've got about a teaspoon of this lovely vanilla paste going in. Then I've got about 120 grams of creme fraiche. I'm going to put the zest of half an orange in here. Just give that a nice little mix-up. OK, so there's that done. Let's have a little look in here, see how we're going. Yeah, this is looking good. So, look, just use a teaspoon to push this pastry back. Get that filling right in the middle, fill it up. OK, I'm going to put them back in the oven now. I've got this pan on, this is already hot. I'm just going to put about four or five tablespoons of sugar into that pan. We're going to make some caramel. I'm going to use one orange that I'm just going to cut in half and squeeze in. Making caramel is dangerous uh, in the sense you don't want any kids running about, you don't want handles poking off the side. In about a minute's time, that will be turning into a caramel. Let me bring you my friends. Can you see how they've plumped up? Going to get the little spoon in there, get it under. Happy days. Right, we've got caramel, guys. It's like molten lava. And then just pour it on top. No kids around, no mucking around. Do not touch it, do not even be tempted Right, and as soon as you've done your business, we put the spoon in, we go over to our sink and cover it with cold water and then put it back on the heat and then it will clean itself because you'll never clean that off. That's going to create the most beautiful caramelly cap to those tarts. It's going to be so good. Mm -hmm.